Alexandre Grelier, you are CEO and co-founder of Drooms. And thank you for joining us on BETV. Bonjour. Uh, Drooms published earlier this week its Real Estate Outlooks 2023 study, uh, the survey of which was conducted in December amidst an important macroeconomic uncertainty. Uh, how confident are European real estate professionals as we enter a new year, uh, but also a new cycle for the real estate industry? Well, interesting enough, uh, the the uh, real estate people do not seem to be too concerned uh, with regards to 2023. So even though they are expecting that the first half of the year going to be sort of a little bit tougher than the first last, uh, half last year, um, in total for 2023, they are more positive. And so I think that uh, over 37% of the uh, of the uh, companies who have responded to our survey um, have said they are pretty positive and they're expecting even a growth in 2023. Mm. Okay, uh, interesting indeed. Uh, in terms of strategies and sectors, uh, what might be favored uh, by the professionals you interviewed? Well, probably um, what we see is that the first half going to be dominantly uh, be NPL transactions which are going uh, going along. Uh, we will see a couple of uh, uh, yeah, transactions which, are, uh, which will be off market. So um, not really public. Um, a lot of companies are preparing mm. so that they are ready whenever um, the ask bid gap um, will be shrinking a little bit and uh, so that they can transact because the pressure to uh, transact will be high in 2023. Okay. Uh, and speaking of uh, important topics in 2023, obviously uh, ESG is on top of mind for uh, a lot of investors. Uh, but a, a key takeaway from the study that I thought was really interesting is uh, that 38% uh, of respondents said they were still at the very beginning uh, in terms of preparing for ESG compliance, and that uh, as many as 19.7% uh, indicated that they have already informed themselves about the requirements, but have not yet uh, started the implementation process. Um, as ESG issues become more pressing uh, across the European real estate market, uh, what do you recommend uh, at rooms uh, to these, uh, let's call them latecomers, uh, to the ESG uh, requirements? <laughs> well, that is a very interesting point, and I have to admit I was surprised as much as you are, because it is a hot topic, and um, it is not, uh, it, it's not there only since yesterday. So it has been quite some time for preparation and I can only highly recommend to really go into, into details, try to get your information together and um, really uh, become compliant because this is um, by law and by regulations, um, something which will uh, provide tremendous hits on real estate uh, valuation if you are not compliant uh, and if you are, uh, for instance, not following the CRR uh, uh, EM, so the CREM uh, way, um, and uh, your carbon uh, ready, that going to be affect you tremendously. So um, in order to get there, you need to gather the information. You need to gather new kinds of documentation that you haven't gathered so far, and you got to learn quickly about what you need to uh, be able to uh, provide the relevant information and to comply with the new regulations uh, of ESG. Otherwise, it can be very costful for you. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Alexandre Grelier, for this uh, for this insight. Uh, let, uh, let us all take note of the important uh, path uh, that is uh, in front of uh, real estate professionals on those issues. Uh, thank you all also for joining us and uh, see you soon on BTV. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye.